I'm back. What up everyone, I'm Galen Havoc and I'm back with another update. Seven months later. Oops. But yeah, uh, following my Deadpool and Wolverine reaction, uh, I started working more, so naturally I didn't have time between that and parenting. So, same excuse as usual. Not excuse, that's literally what happened, but... Anyway, you know how it is. But now I'm back and I'm ready to give this platform a wedgie again. Little Batman Beyond reference. Anyway, so, what's in the works for Gallant Havoc? Well, just to get the bad news out of the way first, I'm going to scrap the Spider-Man 2 and God of War uh, Ragnarok Valhalla reviews, because... too late there's pretty much everything I want to say has already been said so there's that um, but reviews that are coming that are still coming are the ending of Attack on Titan because you know the uh ending final season is now being released as a movie so still kind of relevant and I just want I want that's something I do want to talk about because goddamn so the attack on Titan ending and uh, these other two are gonna be what I'm gonna call the catch-up so I can just quickly get them over with to make up for lost time. So we're going to have my review on Godzilla and Kong, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, and the Deb of course, Deadpool and Wolverine. And then the new vastly polarizing vastly odd review of the 2024 version of The Crow. Notice how he didn't say remake. Because it really is not a remake. But I'll say what needs to be said during the review. So then, of course, coming out this year is Sparking Zero. You can bet your ass I'm going to review that because it's been a long time coming. And I am... I am so, so hyped for that game. <sighs> oh, that, that is going to be, that's going to be a time. That is going to be a time. And of course, the spooky season is rolling around, so have a Torah show. Um, that, but, 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 uh, the long-awaited because uh, I had to cancel it or push it forward last year. Castlevania and Castlevania Nocturne. I'm going to do those. I'm going to do Resident Evil 6, the worst Resident Evil game by a very large margin. I'm also going to do another Paradigm Shift type review with The Mummy, not the Boris Karloff version. You can't touch that. So it's between 1999's The Mummy and the 2017 the mummy really? and then number four for Havoc's Horror Show Van Helsing the Hugh Jackman Van Helsing oddly enough both The Mummy and Van Helsing are Steven Summers movies so that'll be interesting but, um, yeah so that'll be the agenda for Havoc's Horror Show and I hope 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 I can get it all done. I got scripts written out the wazoo. So all I gotta do is record them, edit them, you know how that goes. And then, 
I might switch up the order, so don't. No guarantees. No no guaranteed order of things besides the catch up. There's going to be my countdown. Uh, top ten video games. Inspired by Will er uh, Inspired by her uh, with Hiromu Arakawa. Will fit somewhere in there. And my review for Halo Reach will also fit somewhere in there, in memory of my brother. And of course, Tales of Elysia. It's happening, I swear. <laughs> I have some scripts written out for it. I'm aiming... It's going to be very similar to the intro sequence you see in Darksiders 2. Because I, I love that format. I love that format to death. So yeah. I already got some of the art already done. Um, it's... It's coming. It's coming. So. That about sums it up for this video. Or er, update video. I'm back in the saddle. I swear. We're gonna do this. For the remainder of the year. I'm back. So, in the meantime, I'm Gallant Havoc, wreak some havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.